Hey, time is like a river. You cannot touch the water twice because the flow that has passed will never pass again. Enjoy every moment of life, eh? Say, Luigi, you still got any of those pretzels with the peanut butter stuffed inside? Mamma mia, no way, Jacques. Especially with the tips of that that you will leave. <gasps> oh. I, I am not a rich man, no. No way. More Saba stories from the rich and the famous. I got a story for you, Luigi. You want to hear it, eh? Huh? 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 Jacques, I am in the shock a little. I have a nowhere else to go. I am all ears. Hey, here goes. I'll give it my best shot. As a proud, proud bagpiper, I play many gigs. Recently, I was asked by a funeral director to play at a graveside service for a homeless man. He had no family or friends, so the service was to be at a pauper cemetery near the National Park in Winnipeg. As I was not familiar with the backwoods and the roads around there, I got lost and being a typical man, I didn't stop for directions. <laughs> Who knew, eh? There was a pauper cemetery near the English Garden in a Cenobite Park. <laughs> I finally arrived an hour late and I saw that the funeral guy you know, my friend, anyways, he had evidently gone, and the hearse was nowhere in sight. There was only the diggers and the crew left, and they were eating lunch, and I, I, I felt badly, and, and, and I apologized to the men for being late. Hmm. Huh. Oh, I didn't know what to do, uh, and I went to the side of the grave, and, and, and I looked down, and, and the vault lid was already in place, <laughs> and I didn't know what else I could do, so, so I started to play. The workers put down their lunches and began to gather around. I played out my heart and soul for this man with no family and friends. I played like I've never played before for this homeless man. And as I played Amazing Grace, the workers began to weep. They wept and, and, and I wept and we all wept together. When I finished, I packed up my bagpipes and started for my car. Though my head was hung low, my heart was full. As I opened the door to my car, 
I heard one of the workers say, I've never seen anything like that before, and I've been putting in septic tanks for 20 years. Come on, 